everybody. Welcome to episode 178 of What is the Answer? I'm Marie. And I'm Dominic. Got it, got it, got, got it. it. Got it, got oh, it. I've just got <gasps> myself there with my jumper. <sighs> We're both literally saying with sun gate again, isn't it? So I might have to just like relax in the pose like this to keep out the sun. It's just, just the, the sun 10 minutes ago was full coming through the blinds and I thought it's just going to go behind a tree and I think it is yeah. so I'm just going to keep lounging back I'm just going to lounge like that all right let me see when the thing comes on videos oh. I mean I'm I'm watching trees almost bend at like 45 degrees tall trees because of the wind and it's um, 21 degrees I went madness. to the post office an hour ago, 21 degrees. Bonkers. Absolute madness. Hello, everybody. I can't see anything yet, so I'm just going to keep pressing with my iPad. Everyone's there. Just to see what's going on. I'll come off as usual. That's the only way that it goes. It's Do five o'clock. Most people should, well, I say most people. I've never done a nine to five job, but most people should be done for the weekend. You can sit down, you can relax, you can pour yourself a cup of tea or a gin and tonic or a whatever you fancy what have you got in your cup just tea i've got water diet, diet pepsi <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. the cup was on the working top having been washed it was quicker than getting a glass so um hello everybody yeah. We'll just wait a minute for people to join before we start launching. I feel like I'm leaning back <laughs> so much today because the swingy chair's back. The swingy chair's back. Um, do you like my backdrop? I do. Got to brighten the day up a little bit. It's very nice. Yeah. Oh, well, well done, Wendy. Cup of tea for Wendy. Oh, I could just do the cup of tea, Wendy. If I knew where my husband was hiding, I'd be tending him a text message. Disappeared off the face of the earth. Anyway, look, Dominic, <laughs> we said this would happen, wouldn't we? We're both going to be doing this it, hiding in the corner. It's fine. It, it will be gone. I'm not. I'm not shutting it out because it's too. It's too nice. I'm really sorry. Hello, everybody. Barbara, hope you're feeling a bit better. I was going to say, Barbara, I hope you start. Well, I say starting to feel better. Day ten, and it's still there. But fingers crossed, you're over the worst of it. I've got my jab on. I've got my jab on Monday. So that'd be hilarious. I mean, I won't. I'll never have another jab. I wouldn't think. It probably will. But anyway, I, yeah. I still keep thinking I'm vulnerable. I don't know why, but you do. Know, I'll take it. Oh. Right. Let's Everyone's go got cups of tea. Good. Everybody's got a cup of Everyone's tea. Everyone's comfy. Well, yeah. while while it's here, lounging in the background, you may as well show it. My yep. crocheted coronation blanket is finished. And, and while Marie's showing that, and it's lovely, and lots of people have shared because they finished. For those of you that haven't, please don't feel like I've not done mine, mine's not finished. It's, it's, only, the 5th of, it's only the 5th of October, so this is the last month. The, a couple of ladies on the Tanatra said, Oh, I'm so far behind. You're not at all, it's not a race. So it's fab that Marie's got hers finished, and those of you that have, but. Do not get yourself upset or wound up because you're not there yet. And I always said, didn't I, I needed to get it off the hooks because I've started yes. the um, West Knits and I needed to get a few things out of the way. Yes. So I knew I needed to get on top of it or else and I would be finished. I would be finished. Because of Yarndale, everyone got their yeah. King Charles earlier. So people had them, you know, before the end of September. Yeah. So just don't... Beat yourselves up. Do not okay. beat yourselves up. So anyway, the last one is... Yeah, so let's see it. That's the last colour, and it's beautiful. And look, I've got the little... And you've got it sewn on. Very good. on in the corner. So it is huge. Um, so it is. Go through all the colours in this beautiful... I'm going to be landing on me. It's going to be landing on I'm me. I'm just going to... While you're... So, I need to measure it. I've got to say, I did plan on measuring it and I've just not got round to it. 
Um, if I ever rummage in my bag and I can find a tape measure, I might give you the measurements. I might have one in here actually that's right next to me. And we've, oh, we've, oh very good. We've know, said lots of people have gone off peace and done other things. And Jane shared this on our knit and natter page, but I'm just going to share it for those that are not on because one, this is knitting and oh no, is it? Knitting? Yeah, this is knitting and not crochet, Marie's crochet. But I, this, I just, I cannot tell you how happy this makes me. I thought that was crochet. Is that not Tunisian crochet? Well, look at the bits between there. Look. I can't see because it's all blurry. Oh, it could be Tunisian crochet. Oh, it could be crochet. It is crochet. It is crochet. I'm crochet. sure it's Tunisian crochet. It is. It is. But look at... Oh, it's stunning. You... It is beautiful. Oh. I right. just think in the blocks, it looks fab. It looks really nice like that. Right, I'm measuring, I'm measuring. So bear in mind, I'm a tight crochet, I'm a tight knitter. So I went up to a size five and it should have been a size four. So I did five mil and my width, I'm going to give you an old and new. Pen ready. Pen ready is 49 inches or 125 width. Length. Yeah. Just stand by one moment while I... Oh, just... I mean, this this could take a bit longer. Um, from point. Um, I'm going from point. From point to point. From point to point. I'm going right from there, from there. And I, I haven't blocked it. It's not getting blocked because it's... I'm, just... I'm not blocking mine because it's a blanket and it feels... Yes. It feels... It's covering my legs now as I'm... Well, I've not knit on it for... A week or two but it's covering my legs when I do oh, I'm running out of tape measure Dominique oh so we're more than 150 so I am on I mean please don't measure things like this normally lay them flat yeah I mean but I'm not but... stretching it 67 inches 160 um, no more than that. That is oh. the tape measure is more like my fifty is like another one, two, three. Add another one hundred and seventy-two centimeters. One hundred and seventy-two. Wow. And that's my tighter version. Yes. So, not, I, I was just thinking I could get my hands on the pattern to see. So Wendy's, who is the designer of the crochet one, was 30 by 52. So you are like... Knit loads over. Yeah. That happened. You're 50% wider and... Considerably longer, and that is still on on it. And it, when you look at it compared to others, it's fairly tight. Yeah, and it's big, isn't it? Yes, it's massive. Yeah, I mean it goes. I mean this is a huge, like little, huge little. It's like an oxymoron. Isn't it? This is a this is a big chair, and it goes yeah. over easy. I mean, who knows? It definitely unless I've doesn't got one of those, blocking. Unless I've got one of those tape measures that's a Chinese tape measure that's the wrong measurement. Yeah. We'll, we'll measure it properly on the flat, but I mean, I mean very good. That is much bigger than it should have been. I didn't, yeah. A lot bigger. More, yeah. Anyway. I'd be, I'd be inter it'd be interesting to see what everybody else's is, won't it? Yes. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's longer than Lucy's. Lucy, I think it's it's as tall as me. Yeah, it's really it is very long. But there you go. I don't know what so, I can see that my tension has changed slightly. I'm, I was tighter at the beginning than at the end, but not a massive amount. Do you know what I mean? No. I can definitely see. Look, you can see. So there's the pink. You can see it's more dense compared to the. Yellow. 
Um, not a lot, yeah. but a little bit. But no, yes, and not... I've been fairly consistent with my yarn, apart from the um, turquoise that I ran out of. Not ran out of, but I literally had that much. Yes, all the rest. It's all consistent. The amount I've had left, I'd say yes. I had about six, six grams, six, seven grams left. All the balls looked identical apart from that, so I have no yes. idea. Well, Linda's, it's magic. Linda's is 47 by 60. No. You've, measured, you've measured that wrong. Right. You've measured, you need to measure that on the flat because there is no way. Because Linda had got hers at the retreat in July, so two or three colourways back, and it was inches wider than yours what did i say was it width wise 40 49 it, yeah it, it is but linda's is 47 and yours was inches narrower than linda's what have you done to it <laughs> the pixies have been in and it's grown in the middle of the night it is <laughs> i think you've got a dodgy tape measure I think you've got a dodgy tape measure. I've got the pink. Well, I'll I'll put it on the floor and measure it, but use one mine... of David's proper measuring tapes. <laughs> <laughs> have you got that big long ruler you used to have? I need that on it. Uh, yeah, I have. Well, all I can say is I make my I make value out of my wool. I yeah, Linda's it. saying one of you's got a I think what she was going to say is one of you's got a dodgy tape measure or ruler. Yeah. I need to lie it on the floor. But I must admit, when I put it on the floor for the photograph, I thought, oh, my Lord, this is huge. Yeah. Well, they, Wendy's not used her, so she's not got any stretch yet. Ah. Uh, yeah. But anyway, that's it. That's, that's the crochet one finished. Crochet one. And I will have my knitted one finished. Tape measure, yeah. Um, before the end of October. That is my aim. Um, I've got weeks left yet. Yeah? Weeks, weeks. So, um, weeks and weeks left. I'll give yeah. you a better measurement and I'll, um, I'll tell you next time I see you. Yes. So, what about the length though? I didn't yeah, well, it, the length. it's Linda Marie saying hers is measuring seven inches. Longer than yours. No, no I'll, I'm going to. You are. You said yours was 67 inches, and Linda's saying hers is 60 inches. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, 50, no, 50, hang on, 60, yeah, because it's 60 inches. Yeah, it was 67. Linda, I've got a dodgy tape measure. I must have. I mean, how could it be dodgy? Look at it. Oh, well, it will be. It again. I was just going to say that, Linda. Bring it to the afternoon tea, Look, Little Natter. And we'll... I've got a regular ruler. I'm going to measure that it's correct. <laughs> it is. Look. Look, the ruler matches the tape measure. Wow. Who knows? Who knows? But, well, I'll try and have mine finished for the Knit and Natter as well. So it, if anyone's coming to the Knit and Natter, bring your blankets and we'll do a photo shoot. And then you can see if mine's either grown or shrunk. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, right. But it's a very nice backdrop. It's a very nice backdrop. And, and it's very nice. I do like it. I've got to say, it's very comfy. It be, I mean, I like that crochet blanket that I made before, you know, the coronation one for Sirdar. But it did feel more dense. Dense, yes. Um, well, it was because they were there were different stitches as well, wasn't it? This is just squishy. Yes, it? it's, just, it's the wall. I think it's the wall. It definitely is the yes, wall. It it's is. Feel, yeah, really nice and squishy. Yes. Anyway, less of my blanket. Um, we will. They will all be available. We'll let you know, but probably like within the first week or so of November, because we said we'd let everyone who's had it have it, and this was the last month. Yeah. Then the pattern will be released and the colours will be released for those of you that are... And although waiting. you can buy it separately, we are thinking of doing it as a kit so you don't have to sit there and go, I want one, two, three, yes. four, five. 
we'll do a kit as well so um but for those of you that just wanted the george v in a four ply for it will yes. all be there yes so um exactly got, wendy just goes to show tension doesn't matter with a blanket it's still a blanket no matter what but it's of course we, still gonna wrap you up in it exactly um, I was going to say, because of course we did it as a make-along and there were little gifts and things inside of it, weren't there? So yes. there won't be in the kit, it'll just be the wool that you need. Yes. So there'll be no little... There'll little be kit. no badge. There'll be no badge and there'll be no... Um, ruler, ruler. Ruler. No. There'll be no seeds, there'll be no whatever else we put in. Pen, Pencil. Pencils with the crown. So it will just Stitch be... marker. This is like generation game. It is. It's like a cuddly toy, deep fat fryer. Oh, yes. pair of slippers. None of that. None of that is there. No. But anyway. yeah, we'll wait till... We're not going to touch it in October. And then it'll just be there for November. Onwards. Because we've not got much on at the minute. I mean, if only you could see... I've like, until, Dominic saw the state of me this morning. So until 10 minutes ago, you don't you don't want to see below here, that's all I'm no. saying. Well, I'm I was exactly the same. Chucked some makeup on, did that with my hair, chucked some earrings in and thought, does this bit look respectable? That'll do. I didn't even do that. I yeah, didn't but, even do yeah. that. But I looked about 176. <laughs> there's anything wrong with being 176 I wouldn't want to be 176 I've just got to point that out but yeah I did look at, I did look at a tad a tad of a stage a lot of makeup well not a lot of makeup but it just makes a difference doesn't it I wish I could be bothered <laughs> I just went like that don't I? one day when I grow up when I grow up <laughs> then I might when you grow up or when you have grace to just do it for you yeah. When I win the lottery and I've got someone that can do my hair every day for me, oh, that can no. do it's something. I like having your hair, but I hate having my hair done. I hate going to the hairdressers. I don't like it. I don't like it. Can't stand people faffing. To be fair, I don't think I can cope with people putting me makeup on. Literally, all I do is that. It takes two seconds. It's not like I sit there for hours. Anyway, yeah. you don't need to know any of this banal nonsense. Show me something that you've made, Dominique. Do you want to see some Strictly Magic? Oh, yes. <laughs> Show me some Strictly Magic. As, as expected, this is way too... The sock's not too big, but the... I can't believe how long it is. It, it's just not long enough. Not long enough? It, What's wrong with I, you, woman? I really, I it, thought, I thought, oh, that's really long. It's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60 stitches in that. How many centimetres, Dominic, with your tape measure? How many centimetres is it from top to top to your cuff? I, I, I don't have a, hmm, I don't have a tape measure to oh. hand. I'll tell you. Is it the same when you fold it in half? Uh, oh, I've not even done that. Ah. You can uh, see we're well planned for today, aren't we? Well, I wasn't. I didn't expect you to ask me that question. You, you always ask me that question, don't you? So no, I'm I can my information and you fill it can, today. I can tell you, Rose, but so it is. You Why would you like me to do to from there, the, where the heel starts, or from there. You see where, like, you, the no, further down, so like the middle of the heel. So when you fall, you oh, there, where that finger is. You know what I mean? That, that, yeah. that bit. There you go. Yes, please. No. Oh, God, yeah. That's really long. But it's not. Not when I put it on my leg. It is really not long enough. Go on, give it. So it is. From the bottom of the heel, yes, to there, twenty-two centimeters. I only do mine seventeen. I mean, well, that's 
Well, I just look. I mean, I mean, this has come off my foot, so this is, looks elegant, doesn't it? Yeah. I know I, do mine, I know I do mine shorter, but they still come up quite far. So, like from there, like that bit there to there, it's seventeen centimeters. And mine, what size feet are you? Seven. Yeah, I'm a seven. So mine usually are the same length. Do you know what I mean when I fold them in half? Well. I mean, you know, I don't wear them, but I've done this. I've done this to the pattern. It's the Winnick Mom Basic Four Ply. Um, and that, that is just so... Where does it come to on your ankle you're length? You're going to make me put it on and stand on a chair, aren't you? I'm not yeah. wearing... I'm not yeah. wearing... Right. <laughs> you're going to do that and I'll do my usual gymnastics of where mine comes to. I mean, I mean... You don't need to see me unshaved legs, but yeah, well, my ankle bone. The mine is still fairly long, Dominique. I don't know what you. <laughs> I hope that's a skirt you've got on. Do it not is. stand on one leg on a skirt. Oh, that's really. I mean, it's I'm not, not though, is it? Paired. I mean, look, there's a pair of us. Something seriously going to go wrong here. Yeah, but look at my mind about that length, Dominique. Look. No, I mean, I, I, I'm not flexible, but it's, <laughs> it's just... I mean, I'm going to stand on an ironing board and this is going to go wrong. No, do not stand on the yeah, ironing but board. Look how, can you see how... Loose it is. Oh, you see, I like my socks like that, but I know you don't. You like them to hug. So it just, it just sinks straight down. I am so pleased you were stood on that wooden chair because for one horrible moment, I thought you were stood on this chair. And no. then just all of a sudden, because I stupidly once stood on this chair to put hang some Christmas decoration. Yeah, I mean, that is very slack, Alice. It's what just... <sighs> I mean, that was... That did not... The people who've no. never joined us before, Dominique does have trauma over socks anyway, don't you? Trying to find the perfect sock that you will wear. So uh, that's what I've gone back to. It. So obviously I'm going to make these into a pair, so they're going to be the same. So I've just cast on, this, when I say just cast, I literally, I've cast on the second sock. So that has now got, that was a 64 stitch count. Yes. That's 60. Yes. Increasing to 64 For the somewhere, button. yeah, because the heel, foot, toe fit lovely. Well, why don't you just whack that bit off the top and just knit it smaller? Well, because I'll gift them to somebody, so you'll give somebody an option of socks. Well, it's only going to be odd by four there, it's going to be fine. So I am enjoying it, but let's face it, I'm knitting these because it's a Strictly Sock Long and this is our Strictly Wool. I knit socks because they're easy to knit, they're portable. I just have to accept I don't like hand-knit socks. Just hold but, on there because while we're on the subject, I may as well show you mine and how different they look in double knit. Yeah, I mean, the thumbnail is just going to be hilarious. I mean, it could get better, who knows? Right, so I'm doing double knit. Well, I, th I showed you this, but I've done a load more because I had a meeting, oh, a long meeting the other nice. day. So these are now 56, increasing to 64. Can you get your foot in? I've not tried. <laughs> oh, I think have tried. <laughs> I mean... It's a big difference. <laughs> no, no. It's really difficult when you've got... DPNs in. Yeah. I'm going out of camera shot because this could go wrong. I mean, I'm liable. I mean, this could just go horribly wrong. If we hear a crash or just see Dominic. In fact, it could be like a scene from the other, the other night. It was hilarious. Dominic was making a drink on our, <laughs> on, our, on our Zoom. But the way she had the camera, she looked as though she was only about two foot tall. It was hilarious because all we could see was this top part of her head. Very well, funny. I mean, you're going to have to take my word for it. Yes, I can. But you but can't I, mean, I can't get... Oh, I knew that would happen. <laughs> I've just snapped one of my DPMs. 
Um, yes, I yes I can, but I can't get my DPNs far enough up my up my ankle. Yes. What sort of DPNs can... are they? I might have a spare one, you can have. Oh, I've got loads. <laughs> Look. So yes, I can. The answer is yes, I can, but I can't get that opening far enough up to yes. turn it all the way around. At least you can get your foot in. But I can get my foot in and I can get that past my heel. Yeah. <sighs> I mean. So this is my experiment. Uh, I'm going to leave them out of I'm going to forget. Um, so I need a 56 in no 56 stitch rib with a 64 Late. on the ankle. Yeah. Well, I mean I, exactly, Marjorie. I can take them to the retreat and see how they fit. You see, because like you do, you like a lot of cuff, like you said, you like them to hold your socks up. And I could mine, I do like eight rows of rib because I can't stand. Yeah, I just know my ankle anyway. So Lee, uh, Lucy saying that's why I don't do top down socks. And I've always done just, toe up so, socks. I'm just going to put you on mute for right. one second. I've always done toe up socks because two at a time, use all your wool, finish when you get bored. But I found that a heel flap and gusset heel fits me. And that's better doing cuff down. So this was my having never what well, saying I wasn't knitting again. This was my experiment to find the perfect fit, and I think I found it. I'm just going to have to make this leg considerably longer. Yeah. I mean, look at there's just no comparison. No, you're going to have to put it onto a needle and try it and see where you what you're comfy with it, aren't you? I mean. It's like two different people have knit these. Neat, tidy, not neat and tidy. They do look very big and sloppy, but did you use the same needles? Same needles, because I've got more than one pair of... Was it the magic that I'd put in this, do you reckon? Is it? Oh, it's, that's not our yarn. Who knows? I don't know. Had you been on the... No, I did think as I'm knitting these, I thought, oh my, you can't see. I kept thinking, my stitches are ever so, the definition of these stitches is really good. Not that the definition of these isn't good, but these are just like, and this, it's stiffer. That folds, that crumples. I mean, can someone tell me what that is? <laughs> Don't wait yourself. It is a two by two ring. No, I'm getting up, sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Yeah, they're both two <laughs> by two. Oh. Uh, get a grip. Right, I'm back. Oh, no. I thought they were both two by two rib, but that's not two by two. <laughs> that's one by one. Well, that's why then you go. That's why. Thanks, Trish. But Thanks, also, Trish. they don't scrumple that's like sparkle. they do. That sparkle, Louis. I don't know. I'm pointing like this. Like you can, you can see where I'm pointing. Yeah. To, one sparkle. Anyway, one. <laughs> all to say, one strictly sock finished. But look, my foot. Put it back up. So look at the difference in how they're knitting up. Mine's the double knit. They look fairly similar actually for once, aren't they? They are, but someone put a picture. Linda, it was Linda put a picture. She's finished her double knits. Uh, it might be a different stitch count to yours, but they looked. Yeah, mine's 48 for a double knit, I do. Yeah, they look different to yours. Yeah. Weird. But anyway, all to say, I've got one sock finished and I've cast another one on. Oh, and I've done a load of knitting on that. It feels completely, the fabric feels completely different. Um, but I that is... Because it's sparkle. 
I mean, it could be. Yeah, who knows? That, that's Suzanne Green Lampkin Yarns, and it's her ballroom bliss. Oh, I'm not, I can't put that away because I need to sort out my my damaged. I mean, I think we just need to move on before this just gets even more ridiculous. I mean, Caroline, it's it's a good test. You do the crumple or fault? I'd not noticed till I was just saying then. It's the fabric. It's a different fabric. Anyway, now I'm sat here and one. I've got one. Sure I'd want, and I'm going to say I'm not sure I'd want socks at fall, Caroline. I must admit, sounds a bit sounds a bit tough on your feet, doesn't it? Well, they're not. Cold. It's just denser fabric. Yeah, you've obviously been knitting it tighter. Was it in a meeting when you were doing those? Yes, a lot of it was in a meeting. That's why then you would you would. Stress knitting while you were yeah. doing it. I think you're, doing. you're not I'm doing just, gymnastics. I'm just putting my sock back on. I felt odd sat there, one sock on, one sock right, on. That sock that you've got on, we're still going on to sock gate. Are you happy with the sock you've got on that's a commercial sock? Uh, this is no good because it's a trainer sock. <laughs> I was going to say, it would be interesting to see how long you like them on, on the leg. You know, you could always measure them that way, couldn't you? It's sock yeah. that you like, measure the leg that you want. Yes. But not with the trainer sock. No, trainer socks are no good. Anyway. Anyway, right. End of stock. No done. more socks. No more socks. No more socks. Sock right. done. I'm enjoying knitting them. Let's face it, I'm never going to wear them. Right. Where do you want me to go to next? I don't know. Right. So Lucy's, Lucy's having to undo stitches. We're I'm causing, sorry, Lucy. We're causing sorry, problems. It's not on the cable, but I know it will be. Would you like me to go... Down the rabbit hole that is Mr. Stephen West. Let's do that. Spoiler, spoiler, if nobody started it or um, hasn't looked at the pattern yet, although it was released yesterday, so it's been all over social media, so I'm just going with the fact I'm going to show you. Right. I had a little bit of a change. Right, so the colours I went for, as we know... What's it called? Geo... Geo Gradient. Gradient. So the colours I went for are all on yak, undyed, mustard. I'm going to drop that. I'm just going to balance it on my cheek, which is of course always good. Orange and the chestnut. I mean, you can see I look like I'm in a tangle, but it's because I've been pulling out. That gives you a lead to where I'm going. So anyway, pattern dropped. So off I started. And I thought, because I'm a tight knitter. Sorry. I mean... Greetings from Turkey. Just having a lager before heading out. I mean, do I mean, we even engage with comments like that? Really? Not only that, I did see that Marion was in a wool shop earlier. We'll let you off then. Right. I hope you have a good time. Have a nice time. So anyway, I thought this time I would go up to a 3.75. The pattern says it's 3.5 mil. I thought I'd go up to a 3.75 because I'm a tight knitter. And I started... And it just felt a bit bleh bleh for me. It just feels a bit... I mean, does it fold or does it crumple? It crumples, doesn't it? But it, I wasn't happy really with the tension. I feel it, look, it just, I don't, I just wasn't happy with it. I just felt it was for me, you know, I like my knitting like nice and... So I thought, right, I'm going to start pulling it out and I'll start it again. Then there was a bit of a saga going on about the internal design. Have a read of it yourself. Have a look at it yourself. It's on Ravelry if you're interested. Um, and then he's put out some different solutions for the middle panel of the first clue. So I thought, well, I'm pulling it out. I'm just going to have a look and see what there is. And I've seen one that I really liked. So I've started it. So this I mean, that was just a swatch to make sure the colours went together. So that so. Yeah. The middle one I'm doing now, I think it's a third one he's shown on his Ravelry page. Or I think he's also put it on his Instagram. Different options that you can do if you don't want to do the original one. So, I mean, we, as we know, it's a while since I've shown you, but I like to finish in the middle of a row, don't I? So that's the back end. So I've started it. So I'm, I'm liking it as it goes and, and the concept of the pattern I can show you it anyway because he has put it on his social media post. So it's going to end up with different blocks of colour, but then still with the same stripy effect round round on the edge. Nice. So 
I'm loving the colours together. The colours look really nice. I'm just, I've just started the orange. Um, oh, wrong side again. But these are on three and a half. And I feel that my knitting's more acceptable. I must be coming a bit looser because it's still. What do you, oh, you won't know yet. Does it say what? So, does it say what, sorry? Wait, mm. Does it say what the finished size should be? But that's no good because you're not there. And you won't have looked to see what your tension's like. Because he's I mean, a really loose knitter, he is isn't really he? Loose, but he always says tension's not important. I think he does give gauge on the pattern, but it's not important. It's a shawl, for heaven's sake. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. His knitting is really, really loose. And it was when I was watching the video and I thought, well, his is really, really loose. I'm just going to go up a needle size. So I hoped it was a bit more drapey, but I didn't like the effect of it. So when I pulled it out, and that's when I changed the design. Um, yeah. Judith, have a look because there's loads of alternatives. I'm sure on his Instagram, on the most recent one, he said that he's changed. You know, people can do whatever they want on it, but he's put a one that's just all um, rows, and then he's done this option, and then somebody else, other people have shared their design as well. So he's, you know, they've told you how to do it as well. So if you want to change the design, um, you, you can do. Um, so I thought because I was doing it, I may as well. I was ripping it out anyway. So you are now back to the right size needles that he's told you, 3.5s. Yes, and I'm at the same position as to where I've pulled that out. Just me. I mean, if only, yeah. let me just move these needles, these over and I can just look at the size because it's the same then. I literally am at where I was when I decided to pull out. Right. So, right. So that's, and this is the one I've pulled out. I mean... I don't think there's much in it, to be honest. I mean, when you, I mean, you, they weren't straight, but when you held them up, there doesn't look like there's much difference. No, there really isn't, to be fair. To be honest, there isn't. No. A little bit. No, hang on, because I don't put it to work. No, there's not much. It's probably not, more on the width. Not yeah. a big amount. But it just feels tighter, the stitch. Yes. So yes. I thought I'll, I'll, I'll stick to that. So I'll keep that just in case I need the yarn. Who am I kidding? I'm not going to need that yarn on the amount you always said you never use. I wouldn't it. think so. We've got Marion sat drinking lager in Turkey. We've got Victoria on the tarmac ready to get on a plane to go to oh. see a daughter. I mean, everyone's on holiday. It, the pattern does say three and a half mil, um, Anita, but because I am a tight knitter, I thought I would go up, um, but I didn't need to. So, um, yes. and like I said, because it's garter, it does it does have that extra bit of stretch in it anyway, doesn't it? Yes. So, um, I'll be cracking on with that. Thankfully, there's not a huge amount of knitting to do, not after last year's first, um, first clue where we all were just, you know, slightly upset about the amount of knitting that we needed to do and casting on and casting off. So, and that, that is all, all four colours are in straight away, aren't they? Yeah, which is nice. <laughs> Nice yes. to see. That was a lot of the comments as well, that it was nice that you're using all four colours so you can see them together. Yeah, so, because uh, there were some people last year that, you know, started with the first couple and then you've done quite a lot or that started with different colours, whereas that is kind of the same amount of colour all the way around, aren't, aren't mm, they? Mm. So... Um, it was unre It was all that casting on and casting off in that short space of time on every. It was just. It was to make those um, Rapunzel plaits. It was just beautiful. Don't get me wrong. The shawl was beautiful, but oh my lord! For the first week, it was like a baptism of what yeah. We're supposed to be doing here. So anyway, um, yeah. So I'll be working on that. So that's that shawl. So that's that's me. Um, Geo gradient. Um, that I'm on with anyway. So, what else have you got? I'm just looking at all the highly. I have got. I've. Um, oh, what's MKS? Oh, I need to. Do, are you confused? You need is an MK, is it, I don't. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I mean, it was probably weeks ago now, I was saying I needed a poncho pattern and quite a few people got in touch and passed on poncho patterns. And one of the ones was one Kay had 
suggested. So I've cast this on. So this is the poncho. Oh, you're not going to be able to see that, are you? I'll show you that in a minute. It, it, keep going, keep going. Go, go that way. Go towards your wallpaper. Yeah, stop. So we can sort of see it there now. That's nice. That's a nice long one. Can't see what pattern's on it, though. I mean, we have all mod cons here. No, I think you need side, 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 other side, other side, other side blocking. Let's just wait for the sun to go in. It's the Golden Fleece Knitted Poncho. It is cabled poncho. Nice. Aaron weight. So nice. I'd said double knit all around, but really I meant Aaron. And this was the colour that was chosen to do it in. Oh, I like which, that. Which is a drop snapple. I, they don't do colours. I think it was called, I think it might on the website, might have been called Sea Glass. <gasps> but it's it's colour 8911. And... That makes me sad when it's a number. They are 50 gram balls. I can't remember how many I've bought. I've bought whatever the pattern told me to buy, which yeah. was a lot. And I've just knit the first ball. There is only 75 metres. Oh, oh my Lord, that is beautiful, Dominique. Lucy, look at what she's doing. I know. Well, yeah, but this is just two charts, not six. That so, is beautiful, Dominique. It is. So this is this. Okay, I feel there's a big book coming along. Well, it says measurements approximately 23 inches by 58 inches. Do you need my dodgy tape measure to measure it? I've measured it and it is approximately 23 inches. Yeah. It's like, well, I'll say approximately, I've just measured it again. It's like nearly 22, but it's not a million miles away. Look at the size of it on that woman. It, it, it looks massive. It, do you know what? It looks like a blanket on that lady. I mean, it's just not in your wildest dreams. Is it ever... That is never ever 23 inches by 58. Just never in a million years. Never in a million years. It does look on that lady, it does look like it's a very big um, poncho, like a big blanket type thing. Yes. Yeah. So because I've cast it on the side, didn't it? Do you knit two? No, you just knit one. You yeah. knit one that's 23 inches wide and then you knit it for 58 this is what you inches. Mean. And then it says, I mean, this you can't, fold in half side to side so that the cast on edge and bind on the edge are together. And then you basically just seam a little bit and your head comes out. So that bit, that cast on edge so that, comes down here. Yes, is no. that. I mean, it just it looks not... like it should be double, doesn't it? On what that le unless that lady's Mrs. Pepperpot and she's very, very small. Yeah, but well then if that's the case, she's got it on a tiny, tiny mannequin. So what you, it doesn't make sense, does it? What I'm gonna and I know it's not blocked and but it's just you know it's not there is, any, there is only so much that's gonna stretch to and you'll ruin the cable. So have you adjusted? I, I need a different pattern, but I'm not going to do that. I am going to do it as some of the ponchos were and make it like twice as long. And then you so you'd make it like that. Mm. You can't just do two and join them. And well, I could just I could just do two, but if you do it really long, and then this this short edge, I mean, I, 
What is happening to us? Hi. Why don't you, you use your blanket? That's what I was going to say. Use your blanket. Show us what so you do. That, it would be like really long. And then that's why, because I can't work out how you do it. You're not going to turn it into a chicken, are you? Fold it in half and then give it a twizzle. But like your short edge then joins your long edge. I don't know. There's one that you make a really long rectangle and you cast off edge, twist like 90 degrees and you join it to the side. Yes. But yes, it, you me. cast on edge. Yes. So that's what I'm going to have to do, I think. Um, well, you I'm always try it with your blanket. You know your knitted blanket, when you finish, you know the one you've done? Yes. You could do that, pin it and see if it looks right and then adjust it size-wise, couldn't you? And um, Lucy, it's told me to knit it on a 4.5 and I'm on a 5. <laughs> so I'd already gone up a needles. It just, that is a made up. <laughs> just, I mean, just start I mean, with, I thought, oh, well, I've got this horribly wrong. What does it measure? Oh no. My measurements are right. <laughs> They've just gone mad. Anyway, on the project page on Ravelry, I'm turning into you. These are the questions you always say to me. No, it, so it's, well, I'm, I'm on gauge, but it's for a three-year-old child. So I'm just going to knit it and make it very, very long right. and origami it. Or... If that's not going to work, I could just do two. Yeah. I, I would look on the Ravelry page and see if anybody else has had the same problems. Do you know what I mean? Looked at it and gone, this is wrong. I'm not, I don't know if it's on Ravelry. Right. Anyway, but so that's what I've... Yeah. It doesn't... 23 inches won't work. Is this... It, it's a present, isn't it? It's not for you. No. It's is not for... It, yes, it's a present. No, it's not for me. Lucy's doing an hour and a five and a half. I mean, the fabric's quite nice. It is nice fabric. It's beautiful. From what I can see on the screen, it looks really pretty. I mean, that is... Stand up again. Let's see, with your arm down by your side. Almost my hip. And that, yes, which is fine if that's what the point is. That photo is massive. Unless we said the lady is very small. Well, she looks the normal size. Effective in the background. But right, anyway, so that's a poncho that looks like it could be a scarf that I've cast on. That's one 50 gram ball all knit up. You know, I've not got another length in it. I mean, that is going to take... one length if they're saying that you're going to need... Who knows? What I should probably do is find a different pattern. But I'm not gonna do that because what's the guarantee that pattern's gonna work? The cables are nice. The cables, cables are nice. Cables are really nice. I can make this work. You can make it work. My but plan is for Christmas, and I keep saying this, I want to just design a simple poncho pattern, a knitted one, because I saw a beautiful one that a lady had on when we were at um, Yarndale, that's the word. Yes, um, and I'm going to try and make something very similar, straightforward, with a little bit of something on the shoulder. I mean, it. let's keep going. And it might, Marion. This is for my sister, so I mean, it's just. <sighs> so that is what I'm trying to do. I thought I'll just do like a ball of yarn every. If I can do two balls a week, but looking at the size of that. It's got to be done in the next six weeks. I mean, the more you stretch it, it, it is quite... Trust the pattern. What do we say, Domni? Patterns are for guidance. Yeah. Yeah, Stuart's saying, could the 23 be the front to back distance, not the drop? Well, I don't think, I don't think either of them look like the... No, because that looks massive. 
it, can you see the way the cables are going? You can yes. see yes. That, that 23 is that. To me, it looks as though it's two pieces that, should, that have been joined. Are you sure it doesn't say two pieces? Well, I mean, it says, to begin, it's a paid-for pattern. To begin, cast on, blur, knit, whatever. Start chart A and B, work chart A and B. Knit the chart, continuing in the cables, um, until the piece measures 51 inches or 1.5 inches or one and a half <laughs> inches shorter than preferred length. Then you knit the rib, block to the desired piece, then fold in half. So it does just say fold in half. So it's definitely one piece. Anyway, I'm what... going that way, so that just doesn't make sense. But I just need no. to send a text message because I think the tea casserole that I put in is oblivious to my husband, who obviously can't smell that anything seems to be burning. So anyway, um, well, just watch this space. You know, come back to me and I'll go, oh, look at it. It's perfect now. It is exactly the right size. That but looks like it. That is what, that's what I've... That's going to be my focus. And your sister's tall, isn't she? She's not, she's not as tall as you, is she? No. Five, seven? Yeah, so she's not as small as that lady, is she? So you can No. See. I don't think that lady's tiny, anyway. Because well, you can see in the background. Yeah. So watch this space. It's just going to be, I mean... How many inches is that's not many inches? All I'm going to say, Marion, is it's ponchos again, isn't it? Four and a half inches. What is 51 divided by four and a half? I mean, I don't know. Do you know what you're thinking of doing by adding that extra on? No, I'm not. I just want to know how many balls of wool it's going to take. Ah. I think you might need more than... How many is it said you need? 51 divided by 4.5, 11.3 balls. I've got 10 more balls to knit to get it to the length it says. I've got a lot. Oh, good. As long as you've got plenty of wool. <laughs> anyway, watch this space, everybody. One ball down. 10 more to go. Lots more to go. So if I can do two balls a week, I can do it in five weeks. That's forgetting everything else that I've got on the needles. So you've got, and you've got nothing else to do either. No shows, no afternoon teas, no, no. crochet days, no work. No, no 2024 blanket you want designing yeah. everybody. So and none, of, none of that, none of that. Yeah, you'll have it. Did you specify when, when the parcel would be sent? Was it a Christmas present? So you haven't given a time limit? Yeah, six to eight weeks. And that was about three weeks ago. You shouldn't have given a time limit. Anyway, let's just, it's nice, it's pretty, but I just don't trust the pictures. That's all I'm saying. Watch this space. I, I look forward to eating my words. I hope I do. If just not, it's, it's going to be a beautiful baby blanket that just gets cast off when it's long enough to be a baby blanket. Um, That's not really what, what it was supposed to be. Yes, Judith, yes. she has mentioned there will be a 2024 blanket. That's if her head doesn't explode by missing this bond show. It's all sorted. Well, when I say it's all sorted, the concept is there now. We had a discussion the other day, didn't we? Re yes. discussion. Oh, Two heads better than one. Do you know what? I've been staring at it. I kept thinking, why on earth have I got a random ball of double knit there? That's because you need to be using that. Because I need to be knitting knit. it. I need, need to be knitting that at the same time. Yes. And do you want to see one more other thing that I've cast on that is also a time sensitive? I think while you're on a roll, we need to just go with it. I think we just need to go with it while you're on a roll. Definitely. Because I've got nothing else to do. No. I've been asked for another baby blanket. So we've cast on a baby blanket. What were the words you said last time? 
Sorry, I'm, I'm just reading. I've something. been asked for two, but I found one out to mum. <laughs> All oh, right, okay. Because that's just never gonna. So I'm going crochet because I thought it's gonna be it's gonna grow quicker with crochet. I nice. think. So I've literally just oh, that's the back. Nice. I've literally just cast on and done some treble crochet. I like those colours, those colours are really pretty. Well, the the colours I left had left over from the last one. I think. Yeah, really so, nice. um. And now I think I've done it too wide. How wide would you do a baby blanket? I mean. You can't turn it into a poncho, can you? <laughs> no. I mean, this is this is wider than the poncho. This is 24 inches. So I, I, all I want to say is, can I just see what tape measure you're using? It's the same one. It's the same one because I got you that when I got this. But you you've just measured it against right, the All I'm saying, I think it's a magic tape measure. Well, so that's so we're <laughs> bigger than the poncho. I should have measured, but it's 24 inches too wide for a baby blanket. Because if it is, the baby blanket's going to be like that. The stripes That'll are going to go fine. that way. It depends if you just want it as a little cot blanket, that a brown brand blanket. That's fine. I mean, this is that very way. dense. Can it fold? So, you know, Can you fold it? I've oh, got, dear. you know, two pairs of socks, a blanket, a poncho, or another blanket. Trying to design a blanket. The blanket's designed, Dominique. We've got it designed. It just needs a test. That's all. Get that yeah. in your head. We've got, we're there now. Um, so, and yeah, so I did only cast that on a couple of days ago. Crochet does grow quickly, doesn't it? Well, so maybe they're all just. Granny, granny would have grown faster than just trebles in a row. I thought that. But by then, I've not got the brain it. space to think, and yeah. I'd already cast it on, so... It's fine. The size is fine. Fine as a cot blanket. Yeah, Thank you, Caroline. You know, I never it met... as big as my blanket. No, it doesn't. So I've got Mum doing one, and that's the other. So that's, you know... While we're I've talking of crocheted blankets, I needed to... Need it. That's what I was looking for, the date, because it had completely gone out of my head. We're running another beginner's crochet day. So if you came to the first one, it's still appropriate because you're still learning basic stitches, but um, Tanya will show you a few more steps if you wanted to make anything else. So it's ideal for people who um, want to learn to crochet and also for those people who've just started crocheting but want to look at where to go to next. Improvers. That's the word, improvers. I just said beginners and more on the, on the thing because I couldn't think of that word. Improvers, yeah. So yeah. it's not a everyone do this all at the same time. It is if you've never done it, let's show you how to do it. But if you've yeah. done things and you want to learn new things, Tanya, Tanya got those that couldn't crochet at all last time going away with a granny square, you know, a project to take away. And people were then making blankets, weren't they? Um, yeah. Yes. So it is, it's at Hemswell, it's the usual, our wonderful Hemswell Court, um, and it's from 10 till 4 o'clock. Yes. A full day. So on arrival, you get um, some pastries and, you, and tea and coffee, and then you get a lunch, which is usually, we think we're going to be having baguettes and chips. Yes. Um, lunch, and then cakes in the afternoon. You know, there's a lot of food involved when you're at Hemswell. Yes. Spider on my window. Um, and you'll also get a ball of double knit wool. Choose one of ours. Um, yeah. Pull, um, and Tanya, and it's literally going to be very informal. Like Dominic said, it's not right. Today we will do this and do that. So we've only got limited places on it. And it's on Saturday, the 28th of October. So it's not far away. And it's £60 for the day. Um, yes. And that's all your food and everything included. Um, so if you're interested, it's available on the website now to book. Yeah. And let's face it, if you can crochet, you can still come along and just come and relax for the day. Exactly. You can come along if you just want an escape out of the house, yeah. do that. Because you're getting cake, your lunch and some cake. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that, had, that, that, and you will need to remember that. So that's sorted. Would you like to see a purchase? Yes, please. Yeah, let's just move on. Let's just move on, Dominic. Yeah. Take a deep breath and let's move on. 
Let's just keep going. If I just could double go. purchase this, because the last two um, oh. from my Beatrix Potter yarn subscription. Not a subscription. So are these the ones that you've missed? No, these are the last two. Oh, these are the last two of the 12. These are the last two. Um, and I can't remember which order they come in, so I'm just going to go for them. So this one is the tale of Timmy Tippy Toes. Look at the beautiful colours in that. The who? The tale of Timmy Tiptoes. Timmy Tiptoes. And then the other one is the tale of Samuel Whiskers, which is that one. Was he a cat? Yes, he was a cat. I can show you. Who was the... Timmy? What was Timmy? Timmy was a, a, a mouse. Ooh. There. There's little, there's little Timmy. No, I've got my colours mixed up. Hang on. I need to get me bits and pieces. One of them's a mouse and one of them's a cat. Yeah. One of them's a mouse. The mouse is in green. Have you got one that's got green on it? Well, that one's got green on it. I'm wondering if I've got the long labels on each one. But, I mean, who knows? I haven't even gone in this one. I think I have because then... That's the mouse. That's Timmy. No, Timmy was... Mouse the... mice. No, Timmy... I mean, Timmy's a squirrel. The squirrel. Let's see the. Oh yeah, it does. So Samuel's a mouse and Timmy's a <laughs> squirrel. I mean, I'll be honest, I don't know. He must be. You definitely have just shown a picture of a mouse in green. I have shown a mouse in green, but the label. Oh yeah, yeah. Ignore me. The. That is Samuel, Samuel Whiskers, and he is a mouse. Who's that again? And that see the colours match the pictures. The colours match the exactly, and I'm all confused now. It's easily done. So those colours, yes, match those colours. The squirrel is red. And the mouse is green. Yes. And Where they absolutely do match the colours. And match the colours. It's the plonker on this end of the screen that's got it all wrong. And there's a little note saying that that was the last one. Right. So I've, got, I've got mini skein inside them. It'll go in my blanket. <coughs> <laughs> The little lavender bags, which are lovely. I've got them. Very nice. There. Um, the coaster, which I use as a picture. I've got mine propped up as little pictures. Very nice. Oh, too nice to use as a coaster. And I need to get a frame for that one. So, so that concludes the Beatrix Potter collection from Attic Spin Drop. Spin Dark. <laughs> And there's a little cookbook on that one, and there's some acorns on. I mean, if anybody can understand what's going on today, you're a better person than we are. We're failing today. Right. There they are. Double knit. That's the last Very two. Very nice. So I, I like them two together. They look really nice they together. They look really pretty together. Yeah. Um, ooh. I mean, you could do a pair of socks and a pair of leg warmers and then you could wear them together at the same time. That would make a nice muscle bra hat, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah, because the, the colours are fairly similar other than the red and the green, aren't they? Yeah. Ooh. Well, you can do it in DK. Yeah, you can do it in DK. Anyway. So that was the nice purchases. Lots of lavender there. I mean, I'm just thinking stuff about here. Um, have you got anything to show us there, Dominic? I have, but just before, while we're talking purchases, yeah, I'm wearing one of mine. 
Oh, yes. I like that. That is very pretty. I absolutely love it. It was Jane, was it Jane? Yeah, it was Jane. I mean, clever idea. Um, who suggested it for my rainbow cardigan that I'd finished, but this arm still need something that's, you know, gone away for now. Um, but I thought, what a brilliant idea. So it just twists and then it's just a bar. It absolutely perfect. It really is nice. I like that. I might have to purchase from some Lauren Aston. Aston Designs. I was trying to read it back nice. from. Um, but I can't remember how much postage was, but I thought, why would you pay for postage? So you bought a few more. So I've added something to it, which is premature but I needed to get it while I was getting free postage oh my lord it's big all I want to do is color it in I love that I can see why you had to purchase that oh lights are on just so I thought that can have Christmas things in yeah, I don't know what that could have my could it have your uh, pantomime. pantomime. I couldn't think of the word pantomime. I would kept oh, just getting no, you couldn't. I'd got advent <laughs> stock, but how lovely is that? That's beautiful. So really, really what nice are they called then? I mean so if we go searching, what are we looking for? Well, you won't need to go searching because I'll put a link down below. What was she called again? Um, Lauren Aston. If you look on Facebook, it'll be... I've got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. <gasps> look at all them autumn pom-pom wreaths. -pom they've got all, they've got patterns, they've got all sorts. It was a brand new. <gasps> oh, what have you done? Jigsaws. I mean, it was something to do with shawls, was there's it? There's There's... Oh, my Lord. I mean, there's all um, sorts of on it. There's a weird blanket pattern. I'll put the link down below. I will put the link down below. Um, I was just trying to see what they were called. That was all. You know, what, the, what the, they're actually called. I'll... Yeah... I'll look on, I'm looking, I'm looking. It's a doer-upper, thank you. It's a doer-upper. Thanks, Sue. A doer-upper? Yes. I like that. That looks really nice. Uh, really nice. And Very lightweight nice. as well. Um, Very nice. So, I really good surface. I ordered it and it was here within a couple of days, really quickly. Um, so, <laughs> thank you very much for that. Um, Perfect. Yeah, I only got one. I could have got more, but actually, you can just move it from yeah. whichever you, whatever exactly. you're wearing. So, yeah. Samuel Whiskers is a rat. Right. Let me just write doer upper down. Doer upper. Right. Right. So we've been having a play. For those of you that have come to shows to see us in the past, you will have seen we've always got our big minis board out. Um, we've just had to have a bit of a rethink. Yeah. So the minis board is no more. Well, it didn't well, make it back from Yarndale. Um, so we've, we've had to think of, we're just going to try something new. We're going to try different things on the, sh on the stall just to make it look a bit different, aren't we? And people get, and I, and I can, I do understand, particularly it shows, because that's where we have the minis yeah. board, people can get overwhelmed sometimes because they yeah. don't know what they're doing. So we'll take on that overwhelmingness. <laughs> and these are all going to crinkle. But look at what we've done. We've made mini kits up. Some mini kits together. They look lovely. 
that's, I mean, that's upside down, but we'll get the gist. Oh, the colours are the same. Pretty. They're beautiful. I like them. So we've done, you can get them in sixes and fours. That's what we're going to do, isn't it? Yes, it is. So we've done... Oh, Trish had a lovely time choosing. Mm. We've taken that away from you now. We have, Trish. because Sorry. we did find that more people were wanting help or didn't know, so we thought, we'll just yes. get and see what it's like. So we've done them as packs now. Um, easy to transport, so we'll... Oh, they look nice. I like them. They've got my name written all over it. Well, they. I thought. I thought you'd like them. Yeah. So nice. that's what we've done. We've just had a play and done some for Bakewell, and let's see. Let's see how they go. Um, we've also but, done sock sets as well, haven't we? So you, we'll, we're going to do some prepared sock sets because again, sometimes people get what colour goes with what. So we've done some sock sets. So there'll be sock sets, those mini sets, and we've. We're doing a change up on the kits as well. So there'll be some, we've got some of our usual shawls we've put into kit form as well, because people do like to come in. So we'll have a bit of a, a kit wall, won't we, in some ways. Yeah. You, know, you, do, you can just come in, pick your kit and off you go. Preferably paying for it as well, please, this time. Um, just, say we did have a few steps at John Dale. Well, we, we never know if we've had thefts, no. but we definitely had thefts that we were aware of. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Wendy. Wendy's saying, design using a minis pack? Yeah, yes. That'd be lovely, Min. Are you, um, are, you, are you thinking about something there, Wendy? Um, oh. So these are all going to Bakewell, but if anyone's not going to Bakewell yes. and wants some, some of these, there's more than one. How are you going to identify them? So are you going to say, if you would like one, send us a message? Yeah. I was just thinking, am I just going to show them? Or I'll just put... Show them, and then, because not, we'll take them. So that is... Autumn. Or autumn, yeah. We'll go with autumn. I mean, it's not. I'm just... Autumn. autumn. Rainbow. Mm. Easter eggs. I appreciate it. It's like working. Edinburgh Rock to me. Or oh, Edinburgh Rock then. I appreciate we're out of season. <gasps> I mean, that's just Fizz Whiz. Yeah. Because it's got Fizz Whiz in it. That's beautiful. I really like that set. This is Peony, because guess what? It's, it's got, got Peony, Peony in yeah. it. They're not going to be called this. This is just for now. They're not going to have is... names, to be fair. They're just going to be... Um, they're just going to be there but just to make it easier this is cabot co oh yeah this is a bright rainbow yeah that's nice and this is dominique's favorite that is dominique <laughs> written all over it that is dominique's yes. favorite yes so, so how much do they retail for dominique how much the, um, Six 20 gram minis, 24 pounds. Thank you very much for that information. And so far, we've got Marie's minis. There's just four, they're the, they're the only four. The M&Ms. They're the only four one I've got done up. Oh, we've got Evergreen. Oh, that's nice. So uh, you get the gist. So we've put packs together. Um, they'll be at Bakewell, but if you did work coming to Bakewell, they're not going on the website because for us to put them all on the website, we're not necessarily replicating them. We're just going to do. A yeah, of rather than because we've done this before, we've had minis on the website, and it's the same ones, and we want to have a plate, so we're just going to put different ones together. Yeah. Um, and we might that, put them on social media, maybe, you know, if we yes. have to well, we might put them on in, like, say, ABC, and we'll just invoice people if they're interested in And them. I think all but that one, they are real colours. Yes. So they are repeatable if we want to do them, yes. but minis take us a, a long, long time. Yeah. So instead of having to do five or ten of the same packs we can just have a play so that's when, what we're yes. doing yes so, so just put that to one side please 
that's put to one side. That's put to one side. Um, um, so yeah, so if you want, if you want one and it's before next week, yeah, before the 14th, Saturday the 14th of October, Peter. then just drop us a message yeah. and we'll put it to one side. Um, and if not, they'll all be there. I've just seen Stuart saying he's done a bit of bake wall this year. It's been lovely to see you. It's ages since we've seen you. I think it was probably before COVID, wasn't it, that we saw you? So, yeah, nice to see you. Anyone else coming, they'll be there. Or if there's one there that you fancy that you want us to put to one side, let us you know. Just so, put the right one to one side, please. The bright the, rainbow, please. Thank that you. one. Yeah, that one. Right rainbow to one side. Yeah, thank you. Um, so we've we've had we've had fun. Like Trish said, she enjoyed, and so we know some people did enjoy picking. But we also we were times where the account was just piled with minis as people yeah. were trying to put things together, um, and it gives us the opportunity to have a play. Yeah. And the stall to look different as well, isn't it? We don't want yes. it to always look exactly the same, so it gives us a yes. chance to do that. Um, yeah. So that, come and see us at Bakewell. We'll have a bit of a kit wall of different things that you can buy that's ready-made. You don't have to think, just buy. You go. Yes, absolutely. Um, do you want to see something else that's been knitted up? Yes, please. Oh, sorry, I thought you were reading something. I was reading something. Oh, so, uh, sorry, uh, Stuart just said it was before COVID and those minis will be in my basket. But I think, do, Stuart, do you just mean one set? There's nothing you specifically want to put to one side. Yeah, I was going to say, if there's something you specifically want, just message us and we can keep it to one side for you. At yes, or but if it's just come and chew, yeah. they'll be there. Um, right, let's, yes, what else have you got? Right, so my Cecil, Cecil... Cecil shawl. God, that was a bit of a she sells seashells on the seashore. Cecil right. shawl. But look, I've moved on to my third colour. Really liking it. Oh, I mean, now, and the colour, the colour, the light you're in tonight, you can really see the yeah. colours. Tonight, Matthew, you can yeah, see. Yeah, that's a really good for cut, seeing colours. Yeah, that's the right side as well. So I've got introduced the pink now, and it looks beautiful. So it's held there with the turquoise and obviously at the bottom I've got the purple I'm really liking the colours together really pretty which um, which colour is the Ducky Darlings one? The Ducky Darlings is the um, duck egg duck egg right the teal and then the pink and the purple are um, Irish artisan yarns and I've, yeah. got, I've got the grey and I'm pleased I did change it because I think oh, you would have lost it. Where those three colours, you do, you, you do see them. So I'm really. You pleased. definitely couldn't see in the light. You couldn't. They didn't look like there's much of a contrast there. You really can yeah, see you it. Can really see it there now, can't you? Yeah, and you can. I'm using silver sparkle on four ply, but it is. It's a nice pattern, but um, you know, I might have made a few technical, you know, anti theft devices. Anti theft devices. But I'm really happy with it. It's really nice. It's really soft. And you know I'm funny with um, it's not too itchy either. Yeah. <laughs> Kids silk more hair. So. Um, Very nice. That is going to be a bit of a slow burner in between the West Shawl. So I'm going to probably be doing both of those together as long as it doesn't turn into mammoth amounts of knitting. Um, my socks, which might turn into a hat now. I'm quite fancying that. Do we think it would look all right? Colourwise is a hat for me. Three. I, I think it would. Uh, the only thing I think is there's not loads of colour. No. Maybe I just need, I'm gonna just stick to socks. That's the only thing I think with the hat, there's not that much colour in it. Particularly when you held it up there, you lose it. Yeah. I'm going to stick to my socks because then I'll have all my socks then, won't I? And I love them. And as you can see, I wear them. I don't, know which, them. One, I don't know which one this is that I've got on today. Can't remember. The pink one. But they're lovely. I love my socks. Um, right. 
I don't think I've got anything else, do you? Have you? I, I've got nothing else to show you. I've got one other thing I needed that I'd written down that I needed to tick off. Um, we did a post about it the other day, but it's just a reminder, and I'll remind you again nearer the time. For those that came to our last afternoon tea in August, Joe was okay. there, yes. who is a um, she's published a knitting book. Well, she's just released the second knitting book. She's coming to the afternoon tea in October, and quite a few people said they'd be interested in it. So yes. if anybody wants one of Joe's books, she put a post on the other day, and I can't remember now what she said, but look at the post and we'll share it again. But yeah. she is Hardy Barn Designs, and the first book was Neat Knitting Techniques. Yeah. And then the one that came out yesterday was Knitting Stitches Step by Step. And she's so going to do some signed copies, isn't she, for us at, yes. the, at the um, afternoon tea? Yes. So she said, if you want to, to bring a copy, uh, I think without having to pay postage and things like that, then let her know before and she'll bring them. So I'll, I'll remind you near the time, but anyone that's coming in October to the afternoon tea and you want either of the Joe's books, then yes. let Joe know. Thank you for reminding me for that, Wendy. I'm just going to nip out this thing. There is some new yarn that we need to show you. Absolutely correct. It's a good job that you're the third leg on this three-legged stool, because at the minute, me and Dominique are about to topple over. Right, this is where you'll see the magic. Oh, you have seen me legging. Oh, crap. Oh, at, least you've, at least your legs are covered. Mine weren't even yeah. covered. My legs are covered. I do have legs. Yeah. Um, that is, it is available to buy on her website and I think Amazon, but um, I, I'm definitely going to get, I'm definitely going to get um, a copy of that one. I have got a ball of wool to hand, but I've got the next best thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, yes. Wendy, yes, she is on Instagram. She is Hardy. Mm, is she just Hardy Barn or Hardy? No, no, it's Hardy Barn on Instagram. She is just Hardy Barn. She's just. And I've got um, to say, Jill was lovely because she'd been sat there all the time at the retreat, at the afternoon tea, and never said a word, never said anything. And it was a friend that said, Oh, did you know that Jill um, is a knitting designer? And but this was people. like. As people were packing up to go away, almost yeah, Tracy, I'll share. I'll share um, who she is on. And Instagram. and I think one of the ladies said, "Oh, I've got your book." Yes, you know, they like, did. We were like, "Why haven't you said anything?" Because you know, next time, don't hide your light under a bushel. You know, right? Thanks, Wendy. And um, have we got anything new coming to Bear Call Dominic apart from those mini sets? I mean, we have. But I've just forgotten about it. Well, but, I haven't got the wool, but I've got what the wool has been made into. So we did ask the other week for um, somebody to help us do a sample. Wendy, who designed the shawl, it was her first shawl that she designed for us, the Hope shawl, said, I'll do it. So Wendy is a crocheted. A Hope shawl, single ball shawl. It's beautiful. I'm hoping, oh, you can sort of see it in this <gasps> Look at this. I haven't sewn the ends in Wendy yet, but I blocked it. I mean, it is quite large for a one ball of crochet shawl, but look at how it's sort of got that pattern in it. It looks almost raspberry. Oh, you can see now, you couldn't see the but green. green. It's got... So this is the, if you'd been to our store before, it had been knit, um, crocheted even in... Um, party popper. Party popper. So it was in the bright neon colours. Um, and this is it. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, that light, I mean, is shocking. I'm going to put the big light on. Put the yeah, light it's, on. It's, not, it's not the best light. <laughs> Black 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 so, yes, the Cherry Bakewell for Bakewell. It was called Cherry Bakewell before we decided, before oh, we right decided right. Right, right. to launch it. At Bakewell. I mean, the only but, way I can do it is really unladylike is it to put me yeah. over the top. Right. Right there. Now you can see it. Yes. Let me camera just get back to the light because it's just... So it is pink, magenta and Beautiful. pale forest. And what's it called, Dominique? 
I was going to say, it's called Cherry Bakewell. Cherry Bakewell. It's beautiful. Yeah. So that's the new colour. Um, some of the people who've been to the retreat again will recognise it because it was one of the retreat colours that people again said, can we not have it as a normal colour? So, And we've made to wait till Bakewell because it was called Cherry Bakewell. Yeah. You've got to wait well, all this that. time. The shawl is beautiful. So that is the Hope Crochet shawl that you will be able to see at Bakewell. But how uh, and it's amazing how I was going to say if you've got a one one skein of four ply and you're crocheting, you're not sure what pattern, then I it's on the website. You can just download the pattern. I just did oh. my magic on it, Wendy. It was not very big when it came, and it just beautifully bloomed into this. As I'm saying, if you want the pattern, it's on the website. Tracy's just asked, "Is yeah. the pattern on the website?" It is Tracy. On the it's on the hope. Shawl, the hope shawl, or in yeah. my accent, you'll understand this, Tracy. The yeah. hope shawl, yeah, not the what did you call it? Hope, the hope, the hope shawl. When uh, it's the hope shawl on the website, oh. okay, we've got all dialects on this podcast. Oh um, dear, I mean, you were making fun of me and my telephone voice again. <laughs> they were making fun of me while I was trying to book a table and they were all this well, was when we were at Yarndale wait a minute. Had, start it off you were you were being silly to start off with because you were on your laptop and you were doing I was being efficient not silly I was just being efficient and then straight after doing this after she'd made me laugh doing that she sat on the floor in my eye line and picks the telephone up to make a conversation and I did the worst thing I should have done I just looked at her and I was gone because I just looked at her and I thought, how did I look? I could not breathe. You know, when you can't laugh, well, then Kath was sat opposite and I, I couldn't look. So I had, to, I had my blanket, I had something over my head because I couldn't look at it. And she's continuing with this phone call. We were all absolutely in stitches. The poor, the poor girl on the other end of this phone, when I'm trying to book a table in a restaurant, must have thought she was being prank called because. I was silent for about three seconds because I couldn't speak. <laughs> I was trying to control my voice while talking to her. It was awful. And your all because went... I'd, used, I'd used my telephone voice. Yeah, your voice went higher and higher. And then she asked for a name and she lied about her name. She gave Lisa's name and all she said was, I bet you can get out of so funny. Anyway, oh, you have to be there. Yeah. It's not as funny the way we're telling it, but... But it's the hope. That was my... Um, I've got a lovely Durham accent when I use it properly. Dear, oh dear. Um, uh, right. I think that is it. Wendy, is there anything else we've missed? It's with me is in the pile. Is there anything else that we have missed? I mean, right, again, um, we're doing this on the hoof. We're not doing a podcast next week, are we? Because it's the no. blanket club, a bit like the murder club, but it's a blanket. Oh yes, I yeah, forgot about see. that. Yeah, Thursday blanket club. Yes, so no podcast next week because Friday is setting up for Bakewell, and that would be a hilarious podcast that's never going to be seen. But we are not; we won't be able to. No, do so that. yeah, so no podcast next week. Um, and it would be, and we don't, and it's a new place for saying that, so we don't even know if we had internet to do anything later. So we just have to say we, no. Yeah, we we got to be realistic now, don't we? We know we're good for nothing after set up because it's exhausting. It is absolutely. It would be. Exhausting. It would be more professional probably than what we are at this state that we are now today. And yeah. I, I've got to say, you'd be pleased to know. Hopefully, I'm getting new glasses next week, so I haven't been as bad today because I'm a, at a better height. But I still can't particularly see Poppy without doing this. You know, as long as you've got them before, yeah, uh, not yarn, our Bakewell. Well, let's see. I can see the only. It's here. It's only on this this distance that I'm struggling. If I sat over there, if I sit there, I can see. Maybe it's because I've got it too close. I need the computer like. Yeah, so when people come into the stall and ask you something, just can you just go and stand over there and ask me? And then I can be I can see you and I can answer. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh Judith, I've been away with those, so I point 
is there an Advent club? It, it's the Christmas pantomime box. That's what we've got. Yes. Have you ordered one, Judy? Did you order one, Judy? Um, but there isn't an Advent club. It's the blanket club I was talking about on Thursday. Oh, that's what you were talking about. Yes. It's, yeah. I was about to say it's the last blanket club, but it's not because we're going to have another one in November for a finished one, we think. But yeah, yes. I forgot it was blanket club next week. Blanket club, yeah. I, I, it was only because I looked at the um, calendar. Well, well remembered. So, right. I, think, I mean, when I went to the post office earlier, I could feel I was in need of something. So I thought, oh, I just fancy some Maltesers. But a bag of Maltesers like that, it's not going to no do anything. Point. And then the next bag up oh, wasn't on offer. So <laughs> I've got, I don't know, I've got a bag of Maltesers that is enormous because it was on offer. And I think I'm just going to draw all the curtains and lie on the sofa and just eat Maltesers. I think that's what I'm going to do tonight. And now, now you've said to me, Maltesers. I've oh. got no chocolate in the house. Well, I have. But well, you could. <laughs> They're replaceable, aren't they? They are replaceable. I've I've not had chocolate for ages, but just in the post office. Why did because you, you know, all I want now is a Tony's chocolate. You've done it now. All I want is a salted caramel Tony's chocolate. Right, um, need to go. Need to go. Judy, you've had all your blanket club. You've had everything, Judy. You've had all. We've your not started. Club. We were talking about 2024's blanket club. Nothing's not nothing's nothing, been released. Nothing, it's not. It's even, in the planning stage. You've not missed anything. That's out. your last colour, Judy. You've got that. Yeah. You sorted. Nothing's been dis. We haven't got anything out. No. When it is, we'll let you know. Don't panic. Oh, don't yes. Panic. Don't panic. You need all your blanket club is done. You've had it. 2024 is just in the planning stage. Eve, you're absolutely right. But there was more Maltesers in this packet than there was in a rattly box. And they were cheaper. I want to see the size of this packet now. You can't just talk about it and not show us the size of this. If it's one of those packets that's the size of your head, I might just have to get in the car and come up to the co-op and go get some chocolate. I mean, I can, I can hear. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, but there'll not be many in, will there? It's like the boxes now. You think there'll be loads in, and you there's like four in it. It's just not funny. This is our boxes are about one hundred and two grams. Not that you've checked. That's one hundred and seventy-five. Not a lot of chocolate, is it? If you like, did that with the packet, I bet it's what you used to get as a kid in a normal packet of Maltesers. That's tea. That's tea. And that's that's how bad life has got. Friday night tea is a big bag of... I don't do it very often, but I just feel like I need it. And this last hour and a half is just... Not solidified, just... Confirmed in my brain. The whipped chocolate inside the squares. No, you need to all stop. I've got no chocolate. You need to stop. Stop. Look, stop. Tracy. I'm having beef casserole with barley for my tea. That's what I'm having. That's what I can smell, and that's what I'm having. Right, everyone, everyone's going. We've right. all gone mad. We're going. We're going. We're going. It's time to go. Right. Nice to see you all. To see you. And those coming to Yarndale. No. Oh. Bakewell. Those coming to Bakewell. I do look forward to seeing you. Don't forget. Don't expect me to be Stuart or all remember, but don't expect me to remember. Just say hello. See you all in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy See the you sun later. that we're getting in this tropical weather. See you later. <laughs>